Amber Heard seems completely bitter following the loss of her defamation trial, and a relationship with Elaine is more strained than ever. It's been a tough time for Amber Heard, not to mention her legal team, in the wake of her extremely messy and public trial with ex-husband Johnny Depp after he sued her for defamation. After Amber found herself on the losing side in early June this year, not only is she desperate to appeal the court's verdict, but it seems as though her relationship with her legal team is going up in smoke. Keep watching to find out the latest insider news on just how badly things are looking for Amber now that the trial is over. You probably remember Amber's attorney, Elaine Breedhoft, from the court trials. But unfortunately, not many remember her for a good reason. Elaine was ridiculed countless times for her legal skills, which seemed to leave a lot to be desired in the courtroom. One fan of Johnny Depp took to Twitter to call her laughably bad at her job, while others mocked her behavior in the courtroom by posting jokes such as Elaine waiting for Ben Chu to open his mouth so she can object to the first word he says. There are also a number of videos on YouTube documenting times when her arguments failed to live up to the job. She certainly paled in comparison to members of Johnny's legal team, Camille Vasquez and Ben Chu, especially when you see how effortlessly Camille Vasquez was able to shut Amber down in the courtroom, compared to Elaine's arguments reportedly being so bad that Amber once stormed out of the courtroom. It seems Elaine has to be partially responsible for Amber also being the butt of so many jokes in the recent months, both during and following the trial. If we were Amber, we'd be pretty bitter about the terrible job Elaine did in defending her, and it would seem that's the case from the latest news about Amber and Elaine's relationship. Stay tuned as we get you up to date on the drama between Amber and those who represented her. It's no secret that the trial was not an easy ride for Elaine, as it was reported she was found crying after a day of the trial. Twitter user at James from Court, who helped keep social media up to date throughout the trial, tweeted on the 27th of May that, late after trial, before the jury went home, Elaine Breedhoft left for the bathroom crying. We all felt terrible for her. After she came out, we tried to make her smile. I hope it helped. It would seem that Elaine and Amber's relationship has certainly become strained after the trial, but that's not all. It's been reported that Amber has actually gone as far as to fire Elaine from her legal team altogether as she prepares to go forward in appealing the verdict of the court. Following the trial, Elaine came forward to say that Amber could absolutely not pay $10 million, the amount she reportedly now owes Johnny Depp for defamation. Ouch. It's no wonder Amber is trying to appeal the verdict. And if we were Amber, we'd certainly want to have the best legal team for the job going forward. And this seems to be her plan too, as her legal team no longer seems to include Elaine, as she has reportedly been asked to finally step down from from her position as Amber's attorney. As a replacement for Elaine, Amber has reportedly hired attorneys David L. Axelrod and J. Ward Brown, both of whom come from Ballard Spar, in the hopes that they will get her out of having to pay a total of $15 million to her ex-husband. We can't say that the replacement comes as much of a surprise, as tensions between Amber and Elaine were clearly rising even while the trial was ongoing. This became evident after one viral video, which showed Amber's clear disappointment with Elaine's defense. Twitter user at Kathy Russin shared the video and added the comment that, when Amber heard was done testifying, the judge told her she could have a seat next to her attorney, twice. Instead, Heard walked out of the courtroom before the jury had the opportunity to leave for the break. It would appear that Amber was already having regrets about having hired Elaine to represent her. While Elaine seemed to react graciously in Amber's decision to hire a different legal team in her decision to appeal the verdict, calling it the perfect time to pass the baton. It must be pretty tough to see yourself replaced on such an important trial. Do you think Amber is right to fire Elaine? And do you think she'll get away with her plan to appeal the verdict? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.